Hey everybody, it's Will the Wig Maker. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all? Um, okay, before I get started with today's video, first thing is first. I need to say a special thank you to every one of you that subscribed to my channel. I can't, I can't believe how many of you have joined already. So I really would like you to know that you are very, very, very much appreciated. And yeah, if you want to join, all you need to do is hit that subscribe button that's down there somewhere and yeah you're good to go and you know the notification bell and all that so on to why i'm making today's video as you'll see by the description i thought i would share with you some of the hair that you could use if you're starting a new wig making journey so i've got a few different examples here so depending on what your budget is one of these will fit you fit you no be suitable for you. <laughs> um, the reason that I'm doing this video is because when I was starting at my wig making journey I didn't have any clue what hair to use. I didn't know that there was of course synthetic and human hair. I didn't know all the different, I mean there's thousands of different varieties of hair that you can use but my main thing was budget. Uh, I'm not saying that I've got a super high budget now, all I'm saying is budget then was the most important thing to me especially when you know you're starting out your wig making career and you've not got a clue where to start and of course you don't really want to go with the most expensive hair because there is the potential that it could get wasted you with me cool so i think what will flying in there i think what we'll do is we'll go from kind of the bottom of the the budget scale and work our way up so if you're wanting to start with something that isn't human hair and that's very cheap to use of course you could have synthetic hair. yeah this has, is actually synthetic hair it does have quite a nice movement to it for synthetic hair um again with synthetic hair you can pick it up almost anywhere it's on all of the you know the well-known shopping apps uh you know the ones that i mean one that um, you might get free delivery with the next day or one that takes up to a month to get to your home or your office or your studio, wherever it is you are. Uh, when you're choosing synthetic hair, uh, if you could go for one that's not extremely cheap, the reason that I'm saying that is because if you get one that is extremely cheap, then it's just like one of those, you know, party city wigs that, you know, even if you're, the heat from your hand goes near it, it melts and wilts and kind of turns into like a used Brillo pad which isn't what you want at all especially when you're starting out because if you're starting out using hair that's not any good to you then it's going to put you off it's really going to put you off so if you want to start using with you know starting put my teeth back in if you want to start with synthetic hair maybe Maybe you should be paying something. I can only work in pounds because it's where I'm based. That's our currency, so I don't know what it translates what it translates to in other currencies. But I wouldn't pay anything less than maybe ten pounds for synthetic hair if you're practicing with that. Yes, and also I'll leave in the description um, something that I shouldn't really be doing. But what I will do is <clears throat> leave you details of a place where you can buy synthetic hair. Um, I'm not sponsored by anyone, <laughs> you know, why would I be? I've only got a tiny little voice. You thought I was going to say something different, didn't you? I thought I was going to say something, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so uh, just to put that out there, it's not like a hashtag ad or anything. <laughs> I mean, who am I? I'm just... The guy in Scotland that makes lace wigs. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so there is synthetic here that you could start with. So that's at the very lowest of the the price scale. Pop it over. Or you could start with some cheap human hair. Now, again, if you want to buy bundles of human hair uh, on various shopping apps, like the one that delivers to your door the next day or the one that delivers within two to three to five days 
you know the ones I mean, I'm not going to mention them because I believe that the smaller businesses should get the chance to shine, so I'm not going to mention their names, but you know exactly the ones I mean. Uh, again, I just use them for, you know, the price aspect. Uh, again, when you're, when you're really new to wig making, uh, you shouldn't really be buying really expensive hair. Yes, I know, I'm fully aware that you should get the feel of what cuticle hair and that feels like but most of the hair that's on these well-known apps they're not cuticle hair even though they're advertised as it they're not um so if you're looking to get human hair on there you want to make sure that you go to the the description of the hair like the specifications or descriptions or whatever you call it and you'll look down the list and you'll find a little field that says longest hair proportion which I'll put in a little screenshot of. Now, the longest hair proportion means the higher that proportion, the more longer hairs you're gonna get within the bundle. Because you know what, um, like the really cheap bundles are like, it'll be filled with like say 80% short hair, then maybe 10% longer hair and another 10% the longest hair. Uh, this is one of the sort of mid-range from these well-known apps it's about 60 percent longest hair proportion what you can do is when you're cutting it off the weft you can comb out the little short hairs because if you're going to try ventilating or knotting with really tiny little short hairs it's not going to work and plus it takes the, the you know the knotting process and the learning process two three times as long so you want to make sure that you're getting the materials that's gonna make it as easy as possible for you, right? Now, this is the trend, you know, the, the kind of thing that I'm trying to um, suggest to you. I just wanna make it as easy as possible for you. So if you look in the one that says longest hair proportion and maybe the one that's, that doesn't have any chemicals or coatings, cause you never know, you might actually even use, you know, the, the first two or three pieces that you make, you never know. You might take to wig making really quickly, like I did. Or if you're not, that's, you know, all right, we all learn at different paces. But yeah, if you want to get some human hair, make sure that you've got the one that says the longest hair proportion percentage, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. Now this next one, again, it was from one of these well-known apps. This is actually double drawn hair, which you can get on these well-known apps if you look for it properly. This is double drawn hair that I got. It's thick at the root, really thick at the points or ends or tips, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from again. This hair was actually, I think, 80% in the longest hair proportion. So if you look in the right places, you will get really nice quality here if it's on one of these well-known apps. So yeah, that's kind of the basics of where to start looking for hair when you're practicing doing your wig making. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe. You can do that anytime you like. You know, everyone's welcome as long as you're kind and respectful. If you're not, then you get deleted because I've got no time for negativity. Uh, yeah, it's just not in my remit. Yeah, and you know, do all the, the other good things like like and share and you know, all that good stuff. And also let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and if you have any more suggestions for future videos. Yeah? Cool. Take care and I'll see you again soon with another one. Bye!